previously on Andrew Gamer. This is so cool, we're in the jungle. I hope so. Because I think they're so delicious. I forgot to be a ginger beer. Ginger beer. The rabbit, who likes to eat carrots. Andrew Gamer TV. <laughs> now on Andrew Gamer TV. Oh, these all of her names had a great, great snack. This program is made possible in part by Are you ready? Things are happening at Stop and Shop. There's new prepared dishes all set to go. And wallet-friendly organic and natural foods. Plus, cool new ways to help the earth. You'll find low prices on the stuff you buy all the time. When you talk, we listen. And best of all, we're just getting started. New things are happening at Stop and Shop. And by Chuck E. Cheese's, proud supporter of PBS Kids. You know, when it comes to learning how to be fit for your life, you're never too young to start. PBS Kids, where a kid can be a kid. And by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. Hey gamers, today we're on High School Quiz Show. It's been so long since I've been on this channel. Coming up on season six of High School Quiz Show, we have King of High School. Here we go. Kingdom versus King Oliver Ames. On Oliver Ames High School. They're gonna have a great snack. This is like their orange stuff, they move. Here we go. Cool, Q or IZ. Quiz show! Safety insurance sequence. I'm interrupting this video because I want to share some really cool, exciting news for you. I'm building a brand new merch store, and it's going to be available online and anywhere. As you can see, it's currently locked, but it's due to open again in a few weeks. If you sign up to my email list, you'll be the first to know when it ever opens, plus you'll get priority access. I'll send your password 24 hours a day before it ends anywhere. I know that most of you guys like this PBS Kids shop. You'll be the first to know when it opens. Plus, you'll get peripheral reactions by anyone else. Just ask a parrot and don't go to jail until they do. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Or I mind. <laughs> I was so evil. Right, let's get on with the video. What a wonderful trophy. Now the quiz show champions will then move on to compete against the winners of Mr. Trophy the Sequence Television's Granite State Challenge in the third annual Governor's Cup competition. Today's matchup has Kingham High School taking on Oliver Ames High School from North Easton, Massachusetts. Let's get right to it and meet the Hingham team. We've got Ben, Sam, Andy. 
and team alternates on the sideline, Buzz and John, and the coaches are Kim Urich and Glenda Garland. has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. And we start with the toss-up round, keeping in mind all answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. So, if everybody is ready, we'll start the competition. Good luck, teams. Hephaestus, the god of fire and blacksmiths, was married to what Greek Ooh. god's love? Robert, Athena? No, hang up. Yes, Andy. Aphrodite. Yes. Um, what 555-foot obelisk reopened in Washington, D.C. in 2014, nearly three years after it was damaged in an earthquake? Manny. Washington Monument. Yes. In 2014, the college board announced it would drop what portion of the SAT exam as a requirement? Robert. Writing. Be more specific. Writing skills. No, hang up. Sam. Writing. Yes, the essay. And uh, the next question, you're going to look down at your screen. You will Ooh. see a picture raising the flag on Iwo Jima. Seen here is one of the most recognizable photographs from what war? Then, World War II. Yes. That's so uh, cool. All right, where is the favorite snacks? All right, the head-to-head -head round is up next. But first, we're going to slow down a couple of minutes, get to know the players, the contestants. Uh, a little better. The way we do it on High School Quiz Show is I ask a question. All of you answer the same question. So we're going to start with you, Ben, and hang them high. Here's the question. If you were a snack, what snack would you be and why? Uh, a lemon twist Oreo because Rick gets runs out there. There's a little share. Uh, Sam? <laughs> I think that the Halloween flavored Oreo has a really spooky Ooh, twist. Ooh, Halloween Oreo. Have to go with that one. All right, Andy. I'd be a coconut fudge Oreo because it's a classic idea with the perfect delivery. Hard because I'm a square. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you. I would be goldfish because all of my jokes are cheesy. And Molly. I would be chips and guac because I'm guacamole. Oh! Get it, guacamole! Woo! Trail mix because you never know what you're gonna get from it. No, either. Uh, Nazi Germany surrendered to the Allies in the spring of what year? It's a head to head round. River Dance travels what river? Yes, Colorado. Yes. Uh, which Bronte's sister wrote Jane Which Anne? one needs the yes, Oliver Ames? Yes. Does Oliver needs uh, or Hingham? I think Hingham needs the Lay's chips. Kara Sea is part of what larger ocean? The Arctic. That's correct. In September 2014, who announced Okay. Yes, sounds awesome. Yes. Uh, which state is home to Punxsutawney Phil and the largest? Yes. yes. See, look, there's Christmas in High School Mark, Quiz Show. The anniversary of pro democracy protest. Yeah, I'm swear. Yes. One American novelist is best known for her dystopian novel, Divergent. Veronica Roth. In 1768, the British government sent one sea captain to search for a southern continent. Yes, Cook. Yes, Captain James Cook. How many lines of poetry are there in a couplet? Yes. Ooh! Yes. Uh -huh. That's the end of uh, round two. Take a look at the score. Still very close. Hingham High School. Ooh, right now, it's, a, it's amazing. Oh, the Oliverhams had a great snack. What river in northern England runs through Liverpool, the hometown of the Beatles? Manny. Time. No, hang up. You want to take a shot? Time out. The river Mercy is the answer there. And you've still got control of the game. No, hang up. Category, you'll need a new one. 
Let's go. Something about Mary. Something about Mary. Questions about women named Mary for ten points. One magical Mary is described as practically perfect in every way in books by B. L. Travers. Andy. Mary Poppins. Yes. Category. Continue. For 15 points, who became First Lady of the United States just weeks before the outbreak of the American Civil War? Robert Mary Todd Lincoln. Yes, and now Oliver Ames gets the board category. Do the Freedom Trail. The freedom All right, trail. the Freedom Trail. About Boston's historic they freedom. needed the Freedom Trail. I think this is the same as Jeopardy, but it's different than Jeopardy because they have the funding credits. Yes, right, photosynthesis. That is correct. And I'm going to stick with this because that's all we have. 15 points, uh, photosynthesis in place. Ooh, Jeopardy Flower Gold. Flower is the only one left. Time for the last one. Okay, we are headed into the final 90 seconds of gameplay. We call it the lightning round. You get 20 points uh, for correct answers. However, incorrect answers will cost you 20 points. The clock is all set. And uh, here we go. Hey, you, sir, are coming to right. When Russia invaded Finland. Helsinki. Yes. Uh, what peanut-shaped comet visits the Earth every 75 to 76? Yes. Hallies. Yes. Uh, Guam has been a U.S. territory since the close of what war? Spanish-American War. Yes. Uh, what was launched in 1990 as the first telescope designed to be serviced in space? Yes. Hey, you. Yes. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Hot. Hot. Yes. Which ocean has the warmest average temperature? Yes. In a 2014 referendum, what country voted against independence from the United States? Scotland. Yes. In 1901, who sent the first wireless telegraph Let's across go. the Atlantic? Yeah. Yes. Uh, what green paint Oh, you're all so close to 600. Yes. Uh, the European <laughs> Union and NATO are headquartered in what capital city? Yes, in Brussels. I yes. hope all of our is catch up. up. To like 400 points. Yes. No, no, no. A few. Yeah, the long gray line refers to the Corps of Graduates at what U.S. military academy? West Point? Yes. Uh, what device that dates from the 1600s measures atmospheric pressure? Yes, man. Barometer. Yes. Everglades National Park is in what U.S. state? Florida. Yes, what type of electromagnetic radiation has the shortest wavelength? No, that was so true! No! The end of the round and the end of the game and the winner this week on High School Quiz Show is... Hang up! High School! All right! Of 695 points, Oliver A. High School... 275 points. Yeah, keep making noise. This is a great round with a great studio audience. So congratulations to both teams. Now, King of High School is going to move on to play in the quarterfinals, so be sure to tune in next week for Wellesley versus Acton Boxborough. Again, one more time for both teams. Goodbye. Check out High School Quiz Show on YouTube for full episodes and bonus features. Visit our website at highschoolquizshow.org. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. High School Quiz Show is available on Xfinity TV on demand from Comcast. Just to remind you, but make sure to visit my email list at pbskids/shop, so you'll be the first to know when it opens. Plus, you'll get priority access by everyone else. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Do do Hope you guys liked the video. I've absolutely loved it. If you guys liked it, then smash that like button, and I'll see you all next time. Bye. To watch more Andrew Gamer TV and play games with all the other kids, visit pbskidsgo.org. You can also read more adventures by visiting your local library. is made possible in part by Chuck E. Cheese's Quad Supporter, PBS Kids, Uno 
know of all the things that keep you happy, the most important is learning to laugh. PBS Kids, where a kid can be a kid. And bye. Are you ready? Things are happening at Stop and Shop. There's new prepared dishes all set to go. And wallet-friendly organic and natural foods. Plus, cool new ways to help the earth. You'll find low prices on the stuff you buy all the time. When you talk, we listen. And best of all, we're just getting started. New things are happening at Stop and Shop. And by contributions to your PBS station for viewers like you. Thank you.